That ain't normal. That's not how one-ways work. Unomas, come on, Nintendo. Slopes. Slope jank that was used in my troll level. Slopes suck. Okay. Run. Huh. Apparently... Apparently, if you run into blocks that are positioned like this on a steep slope from above, you just end up auto-ducked. Interesting. And it works with turn blocks, too. Okay, that's weird. Wait. Oh, interesting. It's X and check. Like, X says this forces you to duck. Check means you can get through it. These, they bonk up, but you can get through it. Which also means, I think... I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. This is just happening. But this, I think, means that you can, like, force someone to auto-hit a note block by not sliding. Which is interesting. Welcome to Mario Maker 2, where slopes are jank and wigglers can no-clip. Yes. And this just does nothing. All... Enemy... Gizmo... Is X. Interesting. I want to test that for myself also. Just to see. I wonder if a POW can auto-duck you. Because if so, that's kind of interesting. So there's a couple of things I wanted to test. The first one... I'm dumb. The first one... Yeah. Alright. So that is the positioning that we are looking for. But the first thing I wanted to test is to make sure that this actually does release note block contents. Which... I'm dumb. Alright. Does. The second thing I wanted to test was Muncher with Star. Muncher with Star does auto-duck you, which means I assume a Chomp Stump is also going to auto-duck. Yep. All right. Pow, I was curious about. Um, I'm also curious about a Sideways Spring, actually, because... <laughs> but can I slide past a sideways spring? No! <laughs> Wait, you can't. And then my last question, of course, was the pal. That's interesting. You don't hit the pal. You just sort of auto-duck from the pal. All right, is there anything else that might be interesting... I mean, we could do <laughs> an entire freaking skewer. Entire freaking skewer does do it. We could do an on-off switch. Huh. Wait! I... That was weird. I thought I went through the first time. Didn't I go through the first time? Right, after the skewer, we did an on-off switch. I definitely went through the first time. I don't know what's different. But... Is it because I still had damage frames? I don't think there's any way that this is possible to use for trolling, but... Hold the freaking heck on. Or is it the speed I was going? It might be speed-based, actually. Wait for the damage frames. not the damage frames. I think it's just speed-based jank. My question, though, I mean, this seems to be a good starting point for it. 
Like, like there. That seems to be a good starting point for it. My question, though, is that then, with some of the other things, is that also... Huh. Yes, it is. Okay, this is just weird and janky, then. What about you, Mr. Snake Block? Yeah. Oh, spike. Interesting. What does a spike do in this scenario? Sliding works. Running from that starting top position that usually clips me through stuff. Wait. Hang on. I think I'm not getting the position anymore. There we go. I got the position, although I had damage frames. What happens in that position... The problem is, like, if I get hit, I don't know if it's that I just didn't get the position or if it gets hit in that position. That's a position that works. Like, if I line with that and then run, that's a position that works. So now what happens if it's the spike? I still get hit. And is that still a position that works if I have damage frames? Yes. Okay, so the spike, you still get hit, even in that position that normally would clip you through if you didn't have... Hmm. Alright. Anyway. Um. Yep, that was fun. Uno mas non -sus clown car. Smiley face. By Superplex25. Let's go. All right, all right. Looks like we're gonna be piling up a bunch of clown cars. All right, hi, hello. All right, non-sus clown car. Wait, there's there isn't a pipe behind them. I have to go into this pipe. Why was that? What is this gonna do? I can't get into that pipe because this is going to block me, but... <laughs> Clown! No! No! <laughs> Oof! <laughs> yeah! Wilford's level was amazing, Ezek. It's not wrong. Uno mas, toggle Y after on off. Hold Y. Okay. I'll hold Y. I mean, Y is really run, so I can hold. I'll hold. Hmm. Hmm. That's a soft lock. What happens if I don't hold? Then I get into it. Somehow, somehow if I hold, it triggers that hidden block. And if I don't hold, I get into it. Okay, sure. That makes sense, Nintendo. Uno mas stretches? Stretching. How stretches do their workouts? Just watch them go. Alright, let's check it out. Alright. Huh. So, certain objects will allow the stretches to spawn inside them, like the spring. Certain objects, like the on-off switch, the stretch will actually go through and then spawn below. And stuff like POWs and snake blocks, it just goes past. How interesting. Let's see. Um... Well, that's pretty weird. So the thwomp, if it's... If it's a thwomp that's just sitting there, it won't... It, it will just go around it and then, like, start back at the beginning. If it's a thwomp stacked on a muncher like that, first it'll pop up next to it, then it'll pop up inside it, then it'll pop up on the top. And a thwomp that's sort of, like, bonked up against a block like that, it'll, like, 
spawn inside of it, get clipped out, and just keep doing that because it thinks that that's the next spot over and over and over again. Interesting. Um... That ain't normal. That... That ain't normal. Um... Um... <laughs> it doesn't... No, I wanted to see that again! Look at that adorable little backflip it does. Just like... It's so cute. Look at that. <laughs> Wee! Wee! <laughs> That's so cute. And then it just dies. That's weird. Uno Mas, thanks, Nintendo. Works for all four games and all daytime maps except for C. Okay. Let's check it out. All right. I don't have a key. So I can't go in this door. Um, now I've got a key. I can't trigger this snake block. I'm assuming there's a semi-solid behind it? Um. Cool and why? Why? Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait, this is an actual Uno Mas! Wait a minute! That's not how one ways work. That's not. That's not how one ways work. Uno Mas, you die faster ducking. Speed strats. Duck to take damage faster. Try the difference. Alright, let's check it out. Alright. Die faster ducking. I'm not dying. There's no death happening. This may be the wrong room. Oh, we don't need the dummy tags anymore. Um. Oh, you die faster ducking. Ah, interesting. I need to get small and then get in that door. So I think... That's interesting if that's... Huh. Okay, so not ducking. If I hold right to go to the door... There's not enough time. But... If I... Do hold duck... Why, though? Why, Nintendo? We do have another cooldown level from Gigant. Uno Mas, you die slower, duck. Wait. Speed strats don't duck to take damage faster. Try the different... Uh, what? I'm sorry, what? How is this not the same level? Wait, wait, wait. How is this different? I do hear off-screen bombs happening. Hang on. I think there may be tricks happening in this level. I think that this isn't an Uno Mas the way Gigant says.
I see what's going on. So, this was not ducking. That muncher actually touches the P-switch. But, if we fast forward to where we are ducking, that muncher doesn't touch that P-switch. Something off-screen is setting off that P-switch. Which means that you don't die fat. You were lying in chat, gigant. And one of us duck detector makes another sweet prevents it from activating it. So there's no difference. There was, was just off-screen shenanigan trolling from from gigant. Both levels are a lie. 